What's going on world? I'm DJ Swaver and this is another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. If you haven't already, be sure you give me a follow on all the major social media platforms. My username is the same across all social media so it shouldn't be hard to find me and give me a follow. But I especially want y'all to hit my Instagram page up. Go check out my Instagram page, look at my IG stories, uh, like my last three pictures, show me that you rocking with this Ottoman Box Opening series. Now the sneaker we're going to take a look at in this episode is a sneaker that Nike has really been trying to push hard lately. It seems like in 2018, Nike has a plan to really push hybrid model sneakers down our throats. With that being said, the sneaker we're going to take a look at today is the sunset colorway of the brand new Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. There were a few colorways of this Vapor Max Plus that released this past week, but this sunset colorway was the only one that really caught my attention. I'm still kind of shocked on how easy it was to just walk in a Foot Locker and grab a pair, but I guess I kind of misjudged the hype on this sneaker. Nonetheless, we got it right here on this ottoman and we're going to take a look at it in a second. But what I really want to know is how do y'all feel about hybrid sneakers? Unless you've been living under a rock lately or you don't look at social media at all, Nike has been circulating pictures of this Air Vapor Max Plus for the past few months. It almost looks like Nike is trying to use this Air Vapor Max Plus model to kind of spearhead the hybrid wave they're about to take us on in 2018. If you didn't know, the Air Vapor Max Plus utilizes the upper of the Air Max Plus TN Ultra model sneaker and it utilizes the air unit of the Air Vapor Max. Mathematically, hybrid model sneakers are always supposed to be a hit. You're basically supposed to take the best thing about one sneaker and the best things about another sneaker, add them together, and come up with a dope sneaker. But as we know, that equation doesn't always work. Sometimes sneaker companies can take the best thing of one sneaker, the best thing of another sneaker, add them together, and come up with complete trash. For example, do any of you remember the atrocity called the Air Max 95 360? Yeah, bruh, that garbage right there. That might have been the first sneaker that I'd ever seen that literally made me want to throw up. For real. It was clunky. The 360 air unit just looked horrible on that sneaker. We just got to be honest with ourselves and call that sneaker what it was. Trash. But on the flip side, New Balance has had a lot of success with hybrid models. The 991.5 is a pretty dope model in my opinion. The 997.5 is another dope model that New Balance has. If done the right way, hybrid sneaker models can look super dope. Now from the pictures that I've seen, this Air Vapor Max Plus looks dope to me. It's the very first hybrid sneaker model that Nike is releasing in 2018, but as we know, it's definitely not the last. Even the most anticipated Air Max sneaker releasing on Air Max Day is a hybrid model. The Shine Wolderspoon Air Max 97 One is a sneaker that pretty much everybody wants. It has the upper of an Air Max 97 and the midsole of an Air Max One. So we know that Nike has that juice when it comes to making a hybrid model sneaker. I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like Nike is pretty much drawing that line in the sand and telling you to either get on that surfboard and ride this hybrid wave or stay your ass on the beach. What I do know for sure is that come Air Max Day in March, I'm probably going to see a lot of people in that ocean on surfboards. Let me know down in the comment section how you feel about this kind of hybrid model sneaker movement that Nike is pushing in 2018. While y'all are writing y'all's opinion down below, let's go ahead and take a look at this dope sneaker. Them Trefoil Girl Scout got cookies be hidden, bruh. Now, clearly, Nike is really trying to push this new Air Vapor Max Plus model. I mean, they released like five colorways of this sneaker on the same day. So, you know that Nike is hoping that this sneaker model is a hit. I'm almost going to assume that the success of the hybrid sneaker models Nike is going to push throughout the rest of this year really depend on how this new Vapor Max Plus model succeeds. Like I said before, it wasn't hard at all to get this sneaker. I just walked into my local house of hoops, saw it on the shelf, tried my size out, and got the sneaker with no problem. Normally, when it's that easy to get a sneaker that a sneaker brand has been pushing down your throats for a few months, it's a pretty good sign that nobody's really checking for it. Nonetheless, we got it right here on this ottoman, so let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. And this is the sunset colorway of the new Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. I'm almost in a state of confusion, which has never happened to me before when I first look at a sneaker. Like, I'm confused on if I like it or if I don't like it. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's not the best looking sneaker in the world either, if that makes sense. I will say this though, the color gradient that they use on the upper of this sneaker is super dope in my opinion. The materials used on the upper is that of like a nylon material, it's not your fly knit that you would normally find on any Vapor Max sneaker. I can already tell just by looking at it that as soon as I put this sneaker on, this nylon material is going to fit my foot like a sock. One thing I loved about the Air Max Plus TN and of course what I love about this sneaker is that TPU cage that they have on the side of the shoe. The TPU cage is used for support for the size of your foot and it also doubles as the foundation for the lace 
placing system on this sneaker. Another aspect that I'm loving about the sneaker is the 3M hits that go from the tongue of the sneaker all the way down to the toe box. In my opinion, you can never go wrong with the right amount of 3M on a shoe. I know none of y'all are blind, so it's easy to see that this sneaker utilizes the sole of the Vapor Max sneaker. Normally on a Vapor Max sneaker, the air units on the bottom are normally in a white color, but a white air unit on this sneaker would not look good at all. I love how they blacked out the air unit of the sneaker to match the black midsole of the shoe, and it's also a nice complement to the oranges and the yellows that you see on the nylon upper of this sneaker. The inside of the sneaker completely mirrors the outside of the sneaker. You have the same black air unit on the bottom of the sneaker, a black rubber midsole that transitions into the black plastic TPU cage on the side of the foot, as well as the same sunset gradient color on the nylon upper. One of the dopest aspects of this sneaker is the VaporMax branding on the heel portion of the shoe. If any of you have ever owned an Air Max Plus TN Ultra, you know that that branding right there normally says TN Air. With this being a hybrid model of the Nike Air Plus TN Ultra and the VaporMax sneaker, I love how Nike did a play on right there and using the VM Air, which of course stands for VaporMax Air. Y'all know I love little weird touches and nuances like that when it comes to a sneaker. Whoever came up with this idea of branding on the heel portion, kudos to y'all. And that pretty much explains the sunset colorway of this new Nike Air VaporMax Plus model. To be honest with you, I'm still on the fence. Like it has aspects of it that's dope, but it also has aspects of it that I really don't like. I love the color gradient used on the upper, but I'm not sure if that VaporMax sole complements well with the Nike Air Plus 10 Ultra upper. On a scale of one to 10, I gotta give this sneaker an easy six. I mean, the sneaker's not trash, but it's not one of the best hybrid sneaker models that Nike has ever made. I really don't know if I would've used this model to kind of spearhead that hybrid wave that Nike is about to put us on. But of course, I wanna know y'all's opinion about this sneaker. Let me know down in the comment section how you feel about this new sneaker model. Are you liking this shoe? Are you not liking it? Did you get your hands on a pair? Are you thinking about buying a pair and you kind of needed this video to push you over the edge to cop? Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this shoe. The sneaker retails for 190 and after taxes, it came to around 205 bucks. This sneaker is literally everywhere, so you better not be on the resale market trying to find this shoe. I know there's a lot of people out there that like this sneaker, but from what I've seen, it seems to be even more people out there that hate this sneaker. Even after doing this review, I'm still kind of confused on how I feel about it. And this is the sunset colorway of the brand new Nike Air Vapor Max Plus. Does Nike have a hit on their hands with this brand new sneaker? I don't think so, but at the end of the day, I guess only time will tell. Even though I'm kind of on the fence about this sneaker, what I will say is that I'm excited to see the rest of the hybrid sneakers that Nike has for the rest of 2018. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up, smash that like button for me, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, be sure to hit the notification bell button next to the subscribe button so when I post something on YouTube, you get it first. Once again, I am DJ Swaver. This has been another episode of Ottoman Box Openings. And until next time, peace.